Good morning, Mrs. Olson, teachers and students. Please stand respectfully, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant Rita. You graciously grant favors through our intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O loving God, I give you this day all that I think and do and say. I give you my love with Jesus your Son. Today I will try to love everyone. Amen. For our school friends and benefactors, especially for Mrs. Castor, we offer our daily prayers. St. Olympias, pray for us. St. Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Salute to the cross. I pledge allegiance to the cross of Christ and to the church for which it stands. One holy Catholic and apostolic with grace and salvation for all. Salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thursday of the third week of Advent. Friends, today in the opening lines of Matthew's Gospel, the first words that one reads in the New Testament. They are a listing of the genealogy of Jesus, the 42 generations that stretch from Abraham to Christ. If the word truly dwelt among us, then he was part of a family that, like most, was fairly dysfunctional, a mix of the good and the bad. And this is such good news for us. Let me highlight two figures from Jesus's family. First, Ruth who was not an Israelite, but rather a Moabite, a foreigner. Some of you reading this feel like outsiders, not part of the in crowd, looked at askance by others. Well, the Messiah came forth from Ruth, the foreigner, and was pleased to be her relative. Then there is Rahab, a prostitute living and working in Jericho. Are there people reading these words who feel like Rahab, who think that their whole lives have been sunk in sin? Well, the Messiah, well, the Messiah came forth from Rahab, the prostitute, and he was pleased to be her relative. The good news of Christmas is that God himself pushed into the dysfunctional and, and ambiguous family of man. How does the love of God, which is unconditional, heal all dysfunction? Good morning, boys and girls. This morning, uh, we uh, hopefully you're dressed in your pajamas for Twas the Night Before Christmas, part of Spirit Week, thanks to Student Council. In just a few minutes, Santa will arrive for our kinder through second graders, and they'll be able to have breakfast with Santa and get their pictures taken. And then later tonight at 5.30, um, I'll host a Zoom for all of your families to watch our Christmas program. Thanks so much to Miss Elizabeth, to uh, Mrs. Lepore, to Mrs. Freeman, and uh, Mrs. Montijo for all of the work and Mrs. Owens for all of the work that went into uh, putting this program together, decorating, practicing, and filming. And then uh, Friday, don't forget that you are invited to dress up as elves, Mrs. Claus, Santa, or any other helper because we're dressing as Santa's workers. Friday's the last day of school before our Christmas break. We'll have uh, no daycare in the afternoon and um, we'll have our staff Christmas party, which will be uh, a good time for all of us to relax. Hopefully you'll have uh, 
wonderful plans for Christmas at home with your families, remember that there are travel guidelines, so um, please consider just staying home with families. There, the toy drive is still going on for one more day, and we would love to get your help with that. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful day. We have a birthday to represent. Nathan Marisigan in sixth grade. sixth grade is celebrating a birthday. So Sarah, let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nathan. Happy birthday to you. Nathan, hope you have a great day. Boys and girls, enjoy your day.